actually gonna be one of my favorite parts. It's a camera section of our show. Of course, I'm Jet Dunlap for JD 24 seven. We're at the Red Booth right now where we're gonna kick off our camera series. And I'm gonna find out what their technology is tomorrow and what they're doing today to compete with companies like Panavision. Okay, we're here with Ted at the Red Booth. I'm most excited about being at the Red Booth because what you guys are doing is amazing. I've been on shows like Criminal Minds and they're using the Epic Amp. Yes, and with the glass, it's just one of the most beautiful things in the world. I yes. can't believe it. Where is Red when it comes to getting into Panavision's world? So yeah, we don't fight with those guys. They're okay. actually one of our biggest customers. Okay. We're, we're in the Mutual Respect Club. In fact, great. there are many big movies that use Epic cameras with Panavision glass on them. Right, of course. Panavision yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's all kind of one big happy family of digital cinema these days. So in the next five years, are we going to see what percentage of Reds are going to be out there as far as in film and television? Uh, it's already happened. I mean, it's oh, the I dominant force now in cinema at all levels. From indie all the way up to the biggest movies. I mean, the, probably, if you make a list of the top 50 biggest movies in the world that are shooting right now, already done and in post and coming out, they're almost all red and now epic. So. And, and what is that? Why is red the dominant force right now in the film? Um, because we make the right tool for the right job. Okay. So it's small, it's lightweight, it's very cost effective, and it has uh, it's high resolution. So we're really still the only camera today that's actually viable and delivering and really sort of delivering on that promise of a true digital cinema quality device. Um, everyone else is kind of playing catch up right now, sort of waking up from their slumber, Absolutely. going, oh well, I guess HD really wasn't enough. So maybe we should start thinking like red and building some cameras that will fit into a 4K future. Now we, you know, for us 4K was that's 2007. For yeah, us. yeah, yeah. We're of course, now of course, heading yeah. into 6K for acquisition ultra high resolution to deliver to 4K, right? And then beyond. So it's already kind of well ahead of the game. But it's nice to see that everyone else is kind of coming Yeah, it's along flattering. Great flattering. Thank you so much for taking yeah, this time. Yeah, my pleasure. For that. Go it's look at all the flattering. new stuff. we got lots of new toys to check out. One of the coolest things about that interview with Ted we just had over here at the Red Booth is that uh, he made the NFL people wait to be able to have an interview with Jeff Dunlap for JD 24-7. I'm kind of a big deal here.